Hello everyone. I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I would love to do another guided prayer journal entry with you. This is the journal I'm using. I picked this up at Ollie's Outlet. I have been unable to find it online. If anyone happens to know where you can get this online, please let me know. Today, I want to focus on serving one another, and we will be in Galatians 5, 13 and 14. I'm going to read from my Christian Standard Bible first before we go to the prayer journal. For you were called to be free, brothers and sisters, only don't use this freedom as an opportunity for flesh, but serve one another through love. For the whole law is fulfilled in one statement, love your neighbor as yourself. And our prayer journal is going to be the King James. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Serve one another. God, I have not been put on this earth to serve myself. It's not all about me. Sometimes I forget that. Service is what life is all about, isn't it? Father, give me opportunities to show love to others today. Make every moment a good moment. Help me be aware of the many needs around me. Create in me a heart that loves others and puts them ahead of myself. Amen. So I'm going to highlight. I'm going to use the gel highlighter and highlight the prayer. If you're interested in any of these things that I'm using in the video, I'll put the links in the description if I have them. If they are not in the description, then I do not have links for them. But I should be able to do most. Not the journal though, I have not been able to find it. I've tried. I like the gel highlighters because smear them then fade the edges out some people have complained that using them in the Bible it transfers to the next page when you close it but if you smear it out it doesn't do that you can't put it on real thick in the Bible I picked red and black pens Here are some of the scraps that I'm using. And I think I'm gonna go with these two people here. Maybe. And I haven't picked out washi tape, so let's do that real quick. Um, we'll see what I use. I don't know. Serving others has been on my heart and mind a lot lately. I have been listening to an audiobook. And it is all about hospitality. Serving others, allowing people into your home. And it's really made me think about how much I don't do that. I get very anxious 
and panicky. When I think about people coming to my house, to me, my house is a sanctuary. It's where I get to go to get away from everything and be safe. Because to me, the world is not a safe place for me mentally. And in doing this, I have closed off my home and I don't like people in it. Even for simple little things like family get togethers, it makes me panic. I shouldn't be that way. I know this. How do I want to arrange this? Using the food because we're serving people. And this little scrap is just interesting. It gives the page a little something. the edge in this as I don't know how well you can see it I'm gonna put some double-sided tape on the back just to make sure it stays in place then I'll go around the edge So back to the book, um, it's really been convicting me and I want to open up my home more and be the kind of home where people know that they can go. And I have been really bad about that up until this point. Been very selfish with my space. not happy about it but all I can do is change it so that's what I'm gonna do do some double-sided tape Do any of y'all have a very open home? Neighbors know they can come whenever they want to. You give house keys to people. There's a crisis in the neighborhood. Do people know that they can come to your house and wait it out? That's the kind of house I want to be. Three children, two are grown and have moved out and started their own families. My youngest is 15, he will be 16 this year, which I cannot believe. But I need to fill my life with something other than taking care of babies because I don't do that anymore. I don't have little kids, I don't have babies, I don't have any of that mothering responsibility as much as I used to. Of course, you're always mothering your mother, but you just don't have that stress and responsibility of taking care of children inside your home. So it can open you up to be able to do more. And that is exactly what I want to do. And we all know times are tough, things are tight. So I have gotten a job outside of the home. I'm hoping to be able to still do plenty of videos. So if I'm slack, I hope that y'all forgive me. But also in doing so, I hope that this will be able to provide the extra money so that I can make sure that I always have plenty of food in my house and if somebody just stops by, that I can make dinner. So the plan is, to use some of the extra money 
to have staples in my house that I am really good at cooking and that are cheap and easy, like chili. There's a red bean, there is a red bean chili that I make. That is fantastic, I think. A white bean chili, there's spaghetti, and there's tacos. So those things, if I have them on hand at all times, then if somebody just happens by, I can make dinner for everyone and invite them into my home. The prayer I wrote reads, please give me the open heart to serve and let me serve my family better without complaint. Allow me to serve and help my community as well as my church. I need your help in this, Lord. Please guide me. In Jesus' name, amen. Place it. Cute. I think I'm going to put this at the top because in serving others, it also can provide fellowship. And when I open up my home, that is going to be my ultimate goal to serve and to have fellowship with people all the time. Mm, don't want to put it on that side because this is a different topic on the back page, so we'll just do it like that. Serving others also includes my family because I will admit sometimes I get the most frustrated with them and bitterness and resentment can arise easily because I'm not being helped people aren't respecting me and picking up their things they're making messes on purpose and just leaving them. They don't care about me. They want me to do all the work and they don't care. They treat me like I'm some kind of unpaid maid. And that can infuriate me. Made me so bitter towards my husband, if we're being honest. And I would like to quit being... so upset and resentful about things like that because I know it's the enemy in my head telling me lies about my husband he doesn't love you he doesn't care about you he makes messes on purpose and leaves them on purpose for you to clean because he feels like he doesn't have to and those sorts of things can make resentment rise Hi. So, I need to be very careful about that kind of thing. Because what does the devil want with families? He wants them to be torn apart. I just need to make sure to stay mindful about that. And I know plenty of women probably can relate with me on that. Because it is so easy to just let yourself believe that your husband leaves those messes on purpose because he feels like he doesn't have to clean them up. He doesn't have to clean up after himself. It's easy to just believe that. And then it's easy to let the resentment build. So in serving others, we need to do it with an open and joyful heart. And I can't do that if I'm being resentful about a mess my husband makes, now can I? This prayer reads, Lord, give me the strength to serve in my house without resentment. Allow my heart to soften 
guide me, Lord, to love and serve. Allow me to open my home and do it comfortably. In Jesus' name, amen. Now it's time to attach the tip in and use this washi tape that has hearts. Since we're loving people and serving people, just put it down at the bottom, halfway on and halfway off. fixes it to the page. I am going to put it across to here for a little extra reinforcement. I realize I have it hanging over see how it comes a little further from the page. So it's going to stick out of the book, but it's fine. Let's check it out. Yeah. It sticks out quite a bit. Here is this page, nice and simple. Cute tip in. Did I get it all in the screen? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Q-tip in. It has the guided prayer, the scripture. Then I wrote two separate prayers, one on the book itself and another on a tip in. I have the art or the scrapbooking, I guess you could call it. It's not, not a scrapbook, more like a junk journal. It's a junk prayer journal because I am adding lots of things that are just pretty. Some are plain, but a lot just have all kinds of cute little things. me to focus on scripture, pray according to the scripture, so it goes along with it. I have a guided prayer and then I do my own prayers. So I've got the whole thing laid out. Sometimes I only do one, but in this I did two. And I can think about this verse and pray about it the rest of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you got something from it. Even if it's just one small little idea or just showing you that it's easy. It can be super easy to do. You don't have to do all this. You can just write in the book, which flipped through. I'm having a hard time turning my pages. See, it can be as simple as that using a pretty colored pen, writing out the prayer, underlining a little bit, or you can go all out like this. I alternate a bit. I'll go back and forth and I don't do it in order as you see, but there's another. It's just plain. This one is also just a plain blue pen. It's actually, this is my metallic blue pen. You don't have to do too much. As long as you're reading the scripture, praying on the scripture, really thinking about it, and it helps if you look up the scripture. You look it up, you read it, you read what's around it, you make sure that it's not being taken out of context, do a little bit of a study on it, understand 
what you're praying and make sure that it's right because sometimes it's not. A verse can be taken out of context and made to look like it means something that it don't. So just be careful about that. But concentrate on the Word of God. Pray on the Word of God. There's another fairly simple one. Black pen, purple highlighter, post-it notes. That's it. See? It can be easy or it can be whatever you want. Just don't stress is what I'm trying to say. I love you guys and I hope you come back next time. Bye y'all.